Today's video is powered by Hawpog. Skip it a button, that up. So there was a second part of that interview with Michael Pactor and Adam Sessler, and he was very frank and very blunt about how he felt about the Wii U. Take a listen, I'll show you a piece of the footage now. Nintendo, the Wii U, it really looks like it's on very, very shaky ground. I'm not saying Nintendo, the company is, I mean, I'm still yeah, understanding it would be a very cash rich yeah, yeah, company, cash. but where do they go with this? I mean, was, was, did this console come out just a year too early because there's just nothing, no, that there's no software? Two years too late. Or two years too late. Yeah, they're, they're, they've just, they, they missed on this one. Um, the, the console is very much like a Nintendo DS. So the gamepad is very much like the bottom half of the DS. The TV screen is the top half of the DS. And it's just not that interesting for most developers. I mean, they just don't really get why they want it. Consumers already have a DS. They don't get why they want it. And I think that coming out now, essentially marginally better than the specs of the current generation consoles, they're behind the other guys. And so I think what Nintendo's biggest problem, truthfully, is online multiplayer has passed them by. So even though they have it on the Wii U, they don't have an installed base. So I kind of think of the Wii U as being analogous to Google Plus. Like, it's a really slick service, but none of your friends are there. Yeah. So you don't go there because your friends are still on Facebook, so you just don't. And if you don't go, then they're not gonna switch. And I think the Wii U is that way. You, you just aren't gonna buy Call of Duty on it because your friends are still playing on Xbox or PS3. Um, I don't think Nintendo is very good at admitting when they do things wrong. Uh, I have been pretty defensive of the Nintendo of America folks because truthfully, I think they got a crappy product that nobody wants and I don't think there's much they can do about it. Interesting, yes. I got like a billion emails yesterday saying, hey Rich, you missed the part where Pactor called the Wii U a crappy product. Now, it's pretty painful talking about the Wii U because when I defend it, I'm a fanboy. When I talk bad about it and tell it like it is, I'm a hater. <laughs> so whatever you want to think about me, you're going to think about me no matter what I say. So whatever, let's get into it. I have a couple bulls here. You're going to hear my mouse click right now. Um, it's like a DS. I guess in a very loose form, yeah, I get it. Okay, you could have inventory on the bottom screen. But you can't really see. The thing with the 3DS is that you have both screens right next to each other, you know, whereas when you're holding the gamepad, you can't see the top screw, both screens at the same time, you know, unless you have an eye disconnected that you could hang down and that'd be kind of creepy. So you can't really develop the same way for you can a 3DS. Now, could that be what Nintendo was going for? I don't know, but I do see benefits to the screen I've talked about before. The controller is surprisingly, ridiculously comfortable. Um, I, I, it's one of, arguably one of the most comfortable controllers I've ever used. I don't like the placement of how they have the triggers in the back. I already talked about that. People say put your middle finger on the back buttons and your, your, your pointer finger on the top buttons. That just doesn't work for me. But it's a pretty damn good controller. I also like to, which I don't know why Nintendo is not advertising this more, uh, the screen with certain games like COD, uh, Need for Speed U, uh, Super Mario Brothers U, new Super Mario Brothers U, you can um, use the screen and, and have it be almost like a semi-portable system. So if you have, if you're a kid and your parents want to watch TV, you can finish your game. If your wife wants to watch Dancing with the Stars and you want to play Black Ops Two, you can. I think it, that for that, it's a brilliant idea, um, and it's it could be a functional thing too if developers use it right. Will they? Uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, I'm pretty doubtful, but uh, the screen has potential, and I think Nintendo needs to market it more. And I don't really, I guess, in a very loose term, I could see where he's saying it's kind of like a DS, but uh, you can't really compare them that much, like he was doing, in my in my humble, hairy-chested opinion. Online multiplayer lacking. Now, this one I agree with. It's not that the Wii U doesn't have online multiplayer. He was right. They missed the boat. They missed the boat with... See, the thing with the Wii U is it was a different time when it came out. The casual markets moved on to tablets and their smartphones and 
whatever retarded Facebook games they play. But when the Wii came out, you know, Nintendo was like, ah, we don't need HD graphics, you know, online multiplayer. Sure, we'll have it, but we'll have, you know, 400-digit friend codes. And, you know, we're, we're more concerned about the moms and the dads and the people who want to wag around the controllers. And if you really... I know a lot of people are going to get angry and say, oh, there was great games for the Wii. And there was great games for the Wii. But a lot of people bought that for the gimmick of the motion controls and moved on. So even though the system really you know it was flying off the shelves for a while a lot of people i knew personally and i'm not looking up charts with this they got the wii u they played it for like a week and a half two weeks and then it collected dust or they sold it or they brought it back and nintendo even though the wii was great and technically if you're just going by sales of consoles was the king of the previous or now current whatever you want to call it generation it held Nintendo back. Now Nintendo has to play catch up with online multiplayer. They have to play catch up with HD graphics and all that. And he was right. The Google Plus analogy, I think, was spot on. You know, yeah, you know, Nintendo's improved their online dramatically, but it's going to get tough to pe- for people to come over and want to play games like COD and Battlefield if Battlefield 4 does come to the Wii U, which doesn't seem like it's going to happen. It's going to be tough for them to come over to it because Nintendo is behind and i really you know i i guarantee you they're kicking themselves for the marketing they did with the wii and how they, their strategy for the wii and, and it's coming back to haunt them now now the last thing and his most blunt and forward thing i've heard him say in a while personally uh the wii u is a crappy product and he doesn't know how nintendo of america can do anything about it he, he said that if the best team of marketers were there he doesn't think it would sell any better I don't think the Wii U is a crappy product. Do I wish Nintendo made it a little more powerful? Yeah, I do. I I think that's going to come back and bite them in the ass too. Um, Do I think that it's a piece of junk though? No. I still think they could get third-party support. I like what they're doing where they're giving away free development kits. I read some stuff and that some of you guys sent me articles. I just haven't had time to make a video on it. But I, don't, I think where Nintendo's failing right now. I don't, I don't think the Wii U is a crappy product. They could have done some things better with it, but they're not. there's still people to this day that thinks the damn gamepad is an add-on for the original Wii. Nintendo, I, at least I remember with the original Wii, you, everyone and their mother knew about that console. Everyone and their mother knew about that console. You had commercials all over the place. What are you doing with the Wii U? I know a lot of people are saying, oh, they don't have their games yet. That's what they're waiting on. Don't hand me that crap. People, how many, I know a lot of people. I adopted the console early. I know a lot of people, whether it be Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo, whether there's games or not, who will adopt the console early. People don't even know the Wii U exists, and it's been months upon months since the system was released. That's where I think they're failing. I don't think the Wii U is a crappy product. I still, even though I think they dropped the ball with the launch, even though I think they could have made the console a little more powerful, I still think if they market it properly, it will do well. I really do in the long run think the Wii U will be fine, especially with Nintendo's exclusive IPs. And if they do get some companies to actually truly give it third-party support, it'll be okay. But the Wii U isn't a crappy product. It's being marketed very crappy it i i see virtually nothing on tv about it so i i i think that they really need to step up their game uh letting people know the wii u is actually a console not just a gamepad to use in your original wii there's a lot of people out there who still think that and it just blows my mind so i kind of agreed slash disagreed with pactor on this one um, I have a little more faith in the Wii U than he does. I think, like I just said, probably 30 times, it'll be fine. Uh, I just, I don't know what Nintendo's smoking with their marketing. They need to do something quick. Like, don't wait for, you know, the next Zelda to come out or the Super Mario Galaxy to come out. Just let them know it exists, man. I'm telling you, people will buy it. People will buy the damn system if they know what the hell it is. Anyway, guys, this is Rich with Review Tech USA. That is my take on what Pactor said about Nintendo and the Wii U. Um, Let me know your thoughts on what he said in the comment section below and tell me if you agree or disagree with me or not. All right, guys, signing out. Going to try to get up another video tonight. Have a good one.